guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so sorry that I've been gone for so long. I know I said that in my last video, but I'm so sorry. School's got in the way, life has gotten in the way, and I feel like, I don't know, I just wasn't as motivated as I used to be. And I feel like that's finally coming back and I'm doing more creative looks and it's just really bringing back the creativity and I'm doing more and more with makeup and I'm super happy about that and I missed you guys tons. I miss reading your so sweet comments and I'm sorry again that I've been gone for so long. But on another note, today's video is going to be on a beautiful purple cut crease that I've been rocking lately. And all of you guys on Snapchat have been complimenting me and saying I should film it. So here we are. And this is going to be quite a long video because it is a very like a detailed look. So let's just get into it. So to start off, I'm going to take my Mario Badescu spray. This is the new one. It's the purple one. And it's with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. So that's exciting. And it smells amazing. And this is just really going to hydrate your face. Especially my dry skin. So now we're just going to let that dry a little bit. And then we're going to start off with the brows. So first, you guys know... I just brushed them up, but lately I've been trying to let them grow out. As you can see, they look crazier than usual, but I've been trying my best to just let them grow and maybe hoping that they'll actually look good one day. But as you can see, that's been quite a struggle, but that is okay. That's why this little guy comes in handy. So this is the Maybelline Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. And after I put up like all my eyebrow hairs, I just make sure they are dry and have no product on them. And then I just start drawing a line at the bottom. Let me use a smaller mirror so I can get really up close. So I'm going to start by using this to just draw a line underneath. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. And then drawing a line on top. And then just connecting them like so. And then filling in the... Hey guys, so now that I have one eyebrow semi done, I just filled it in. I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera and clean them up with some concealer and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I have my brows on. Looking fleeky. They finally look even and like a little more like sisters. But moving on. So to prime my eyes for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to take a brush. Let's see. Uh, I got so many brushes for Christmas. It's so hard for me to find. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. This brush is the BH Cosmetics number 8. And I'm just going to dip into that paint pot and paint this on my lid. All over my lid. And this paint pot is so good at like prolonging the wear of your eyeshadow. Because I used to use concealer and yeah, it worked. But, you know, I would still have my eyeshadow creasing. But when I use this, it literally looks the exact same as when I first did my makeup. And I really appreciate that. But there's nothing worse than looking at your eyeshadow and, like, it's all cre a creasy mess. So this really stops the creasing. And make sure that you're looking popping. So I put this all over my eye and then I take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge you know even from my first makeup video I've been using this sponge and I take it and just blend it in or I use my fingers but today we'll use the sponge Okay, now after we blend that out, I'm going to take a little Cody Airspun face powder. 
with a little wet and wild brush and just set it so that it does not go anywhere okay so now that our eyes are primed and set with some translucent powder um, we're gonna get started on the eyes and I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use the shades Silk Cream and MFEO and just use these as my transition shades in my crease. Now I'm going to take the colors Butter, Pooter, and Pukey and mix those all together. They're just some other transition shades and I'm going to also pop those in my crease but focusing more so on the outer corner. Okay guys, so now that we have those transition colors in our crease and they're super blended, we're going to go into this purple pink color that's really going to be the star of the show. So I'm going to take my Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless Volume 2 palette. This is in collaboration with Ciate London. Hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to take the shade, if I can open it, open up, okay. I'm going to take the shade Violet, which is right here. And I'm going to just put that heavily in my crease. Like so. I'm going to start on the outer corner and start blending that in. And this color, this whole palette... This Chloe Morella palette is super pigmented and I am obsessed. And I just keep packing this color in the crease and blending it into that transition color that we have put down. And I'm going to do this on both eyes and I'll get right back to you. I'm going to continue taking that same color but a different brush. This is more of a packing brush and really pack it on the outer corner because that's where we want the most intense color because when we cut our crease it's going to be like a half cut crease so it's just going to be in the front here stopping at about the end of our lid so we want that outer corner to really really pop so after we have that shade blended out and looking super popping we're going to start cutting the lid or the crease we should say so I'm gonna take my Mac paint pot again and this is what I use to cut my crease I recommend this over concealer cuz I tend to find that concealer is a bit too liquidy to cut the crease and I just don't like the way it sets so I'm gonna use this and it's a much thicker consistency so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Beach Cosmetics brush, the same one I used to prime my eyelids in the number 8. And I'm just going to get really up close to my mirror and kind of angle it downward so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to dip in to the paint pot like this with the brush. And you want to start off very slowly. You don't want to rush it because you have to be very careful that you don't go too high in your crease because then it's just going to look weird. So I'm going to get really up close. Let me turn a little so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to start by just placing this on the lid like this. If you guys can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Don't want to perfect it, but just put it down. And slowly, I'm just going to start putting it higher and higher into my crease. And I like dust off my brush each time just so that it's not like a buildup of product on my brush. Now to get a more defined line, I'm going to take this tiny, tiny brush from Morphe. And I'm going to dip into the paint pot and get in there. And really just define the crease.
I'm going to do the same with the other eye and I'll be right back. Now that we have defined our crease, we're going to get to my personal favorite part of the look, which is the glitter. So, hmm, which one are we going to use? I'm going to use the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. You guys probably have these. Know what these are. They've been all over Instagram. If you watch YouTube, every YouTuber uses them. And I love these for this look especially because they really help make that crease look really defined. So I'm just going to open it and use the applicator to apply it. It's super easy, and I just start in the middle because that's where I want most of the product to be. And now I slowly like bring it to the beginning of my eye, and I just trace over the outline that I did with the paint pot. Just gonna fade it out towards the end like that. Hope you guys can see. I hope it's focused. When I don't have my glasses on, guys, I really can't see. Well, I'm gonna get closer, and that's one eye. Now moving on to the other eye. This is like my bad eye because, like, as you can see, my eyes are hooded, so it's hard for me to get like each the same shape. So. Okay, so now that both of our creases are cut, it's going to look like this. I'm going to close my eyes so you guys can see. And now we're just going to let it dry for about like a minute, a minute and a half, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, guys, so now that the glitter is dry, I'm going to take that packer brush that we use that looks like this. And I'm going to dip into that violet shade and just pack that on my outer corner to blend out the edges of the glitter and create like this gradient effect and make sure that the glitter is blended. And then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number no. 4 brush, which is like a pointed, oh, a pointed brush. That is perfect for the crease. And I'm just going to go in and just go around the glitter and make sure she's blended. That sounded really weird. Then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number no. 5 and just further blend that color. And make sure, like, they're as even as possible. Now, since this look is very, very dramatic, we're going to add some lashes. Ah! I don't know about you guys, but I love adding lashes to any and every look. So today, we're going to be using some dramatic ones. We're going to use the Ardell Wispies in the style 113. And I'll show you guys what they look like in a sec. So I love these because they have that like cat eye effect. I'll show you them here. So they look like this. And basically they start shorter in the inner corner and grow and get longer as you go to the ends of the eye. So they really like create that whoosh which I love because my eyes are very tiny, so I like to shape them as much as possible. So the glue I'll be using is a Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins in the like black um, color. And I love this one because it has a brush on applicator and it just makes it 10 times easier. So I'm going to do one lash on camera and then I'll show you guys the other one off camera. Okay guys, so I have my lash right here with my tweezers and I'm just going to brush on my lash glue like so. And I tend to put like a lot on the inner and outer corners because that's like the places where they first decide to like flick up. So I make sure I really pack on the glue. Not too much, but just enough. And then I just wait for them to dry.
now I take it and I place it right in the center of my eye. And I make sure it's really glued on there. And then I get the outer corner and I glue that down. I get the inner corner and I glue her down because she loves to just go places. And I make sure that the lash is as blended as possible. Okay, so that was a struggle, but I think we got her on. Now I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Now we are finally going to move on to the face. So to prime today, I'm going to use two primers. I have to reach in my little makeup storage here. Um, first, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And just put this in my T-zone because this is really good for controlling my oils. Which are mainly in my T-zone. So that's why I mainly put it in my T-zone. Because I get super oily in my T-zone. But you guys know like the rest of my face. Super dry. And then I'm going to take my Milani Prime Light Face Primer. Shrubbing and pore minimizing. And I'm just going to... Take some of that and dot it on my face. And I love this for adding an extra hydration and keeping my makeup. I feel like it makes it look just more skin-like. I love anything hydrating, illuminating. You know, I love the glow. I'm all about the glow. So now we're going to get into foundation and I have a new one um, that I've been trying out recently and it's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins um, and it has SPF 20 and this is the lightest shade and this is a shade 710 Classic Ivory. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, is it going to focus? Looks like that. And it has a pump, which is great, but my biggest complaint is that the um, shade range for this foundation is, like, absolutely horrible. Like, this is their lightest shade, and this is still too dark for me, and I'm not even the palest of pale. And their darker shades don't really fit all the girls with, like darker richer skin colors so i feel like that's a big problem in the makeup industry and i feel like they need to get to get it together like it's 2018 and brands need to just extend their shade ranges so everybody can try it out but that's my little um two cents on that so i'm just gonna pump like two to three pumps on the back of my hand and i'm gonna take my real techniques beauty sponge and wet it i just always have this spray bottle handy because i am way too lazy to go up and do the whole put it under the water in the sink and then squeeze it out and yeah I, nobody has time for that so oh so now i'm just and this is again not my shade and i know that but this is the lightest shade so i and this is full coverage so I start with my cheeks and I just blend it outwards. And now also a new concealer I have been using lately is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Uh, oh, right here. And it looks like this. She's a bit dirty, but that's okay. I don't know if it's going to focus but this is in the shade fair five and this is the lightest shade it's a little too light for me but that's just because my foundation is a bit dark so i just love this concealer recently like i haven't used my tarte shape tape in like a while and you guys know like i used to use that in every single video 
but this one is just so creamy and looks so pretty under the eyes i love it and it just blends into the skin so well okay guys so now that my concealer is all blended out we're gonna go ahead and set our face so for that i'm gonna use the cody airspun loose face powder in the shade i guess translucent extra coverage and I'm just going to open this and just tap off some into the lid. Like so. And I use a lot of powder. Because I feel like it just makes me look more flawless. So why not use more of it? You hear me? Do I, you guys understand? So I'm going to take this and just really place it really close to that lower lash line and really pack it underneath and now i'm gonna take a powder puff looks like this and i'm just gonna take it in my hands and take that powder and really just press it into the skin so now we're gonna bake in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 and we'll be right back okay guys so now that we are done baking and i've brushed away all of the powder we're gonna move on to bronzing and contouring so i'm gonna take my rimmel natural bronzer and just dip into that and bronze my face where i would normally bronze now we're gonna move on to contouring i'm gonna take my Too faced chocolate soleil medium deep matte bronzer and my contouring brush which is a morphe brush and dip into that and carve out my cheeks like so then recently i've been contouring my nose i know i usually never contoured my nose but now like i feel like i can't live without it so i'm gonna take a smaller mirror and i'm gonna take this anastasia brush that i got in my modern renaissance palette and i'm gonna dip into that um Too faced bronzer and just start from my eyeshadow right here and slowly just make a line but we'll blend it into the eyeshadow so that it looks more natural even though nothing about this makeup look is natural so now i'm just gonna take my beauty blender and grab some powder and i'm gonna cut my contour right here super important if you really want to look like snatched And then I'm going to bake my nose contour. And I get really close. And I really make sure that I get up in there. And I define that line. And I just go over my nose again. Like so. And so now while that is baking, we can move on to blush. So I'm just going to take my Morphe blush brush that I have here. And I'm going to use the Cindy Luminizer from The Balm. Because it is The Balm. It's so now I'm going to dust off that bake. Because I don't want it there too long. Because then it's just going to look like I didn't blend my contour. Brush everything away. And now I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to zoom you guys in again. Okay guys, so I'm back and now it's time to finish up the um, lower lash line. So I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number 9 brush. And I'm just going to go back into that violet shade that is in our crease from the Chloe Morello palette. I'm going to take that on my BH Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to run that under the lash line. And this is such a pretty color. 
And then I'm just going to take some black from the Jaclyn Hill palette because the Chloe Morello palette does not have a black. Sad face. And I'm just going to use that at the very outer corner. Then I'm going to go back into that violet color again to blend everything out. And then I'm going to take my Beige Cosmetics number 11 brush. And I'm going to go back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and use the shades Beam and In Light to highlight my um, brow bone and my inner corner. And now I'm going to add some eyeliner on my bottom waterline. So I'm going to take my... Ciate Fierce Flicks um, liquid eyeliner. So I literally just slant it like this and pop it in my waterline. And now that that eyeliner is in our waterline, I'm gonna go back in with a brush, the same brush that we use for our lower lash line. And I'm gonna take that violet color again and blend that eyeliner out. I'm gonna take this blending brush, the BH Cosmetics number five, and use that to just blend out everything. And this just makes the under eyes look really like blown out and who doesn't love that? Now I'm gonna take some of the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Oh, let me get in focus. Am I in focus? Let's hope. I'm going to take some of the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set before I put on my highlight. So that my highlight just looks beaming. And by some, I meant a lot. Like, if you know me and you've watched my videos before... You guys know the drill. But if you guys haven't watched my videos before and you guys are new, welcome to my channel. I'm super weird, super quirky. Um, and yeah. So now I'm going to get to highlighting, honey. I'm going to take this new highlighter that I have, the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. And I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush that is perfect for highlighting. Oh, it's focusing on my face. And I'm going to take that. But before I take that, I'm just going to like um, pounce the setting spray into my skin. I learned this trick from Laura Lee. If you guys don't watch it, I totally recommend. And this just really gets that setting spray into your skin. And then I just love to like pose this way, dip into the highlighter and just watch it glow. Like what? And then I'm gonna take another highlighter, which is the Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. And I'm just gonna put this on like the tops of my cheeks. Cause it definitely is more silvery, champagne-y. And this is just gonna make it pop even more. And then I take it down the bridge of my nose. Like this. And a little bit on my forehead like this. I don't know, I just like highlighting between my eyebrows. And on the very tip of my nose, um, on my cupid's bow, and on my chinny chin chin, and a little bit on my forehead. And now, it's time for lips. So, I'm going to take the ColourPop X I Love Sada He Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 951. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. I hope you love it. Um, Looks like this. Give you a little pose. Yes, I love how this look came out, and I've been doing it so much recently. And if you like this look, please make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe, of course. And definitely share this with your friends if you guys found this helpful or fun in any way and make sure you hit that bell at the bottom over there or over there i'm pretty sure it's over here but i have no idea it might be over here um but hit that bell to get notifications every time i post and until next time happy slaying